Hey, this is Deepak here from digitaldeepak.com and in this video we are going to have a look at Typeform. Typeform is a form creation and submission tool and it is better compared to other forms that you find on the web. This is a premium tool and does not come for free. There is obviously a free trial which you can use but it can only hold 100 responses. So many people ask me why use Typeform when you can use Google Forms which is free. So you can go to your Google Drive, create a form and uh, collect data and get it on a Google Sheet directly. But uh, what I feel about Typeform is that uh, Typeform has created the forms and designed the forms in a such a way that the conversion ratios are higher. So if 100 people visit a Google Form versus 100 people visit a Typeform, more number of people visiting type form will actually complete the form. Maybe the percentage conversion is 50% while in Google you might get around 20 to 30% completion rate. So I will tell you exactly why uh, when I get into the design of the form. But first let's look at pricing of this tool. So type form starts at uh, 35 USD per month and uh, if you pay yearly it's uh, 30 USD per month. The professional plan uh, is going to cost 50 USD per month if you pay yearly, it's 35 USD per month and then you have the premium plan uh, which is 70 USD per month if you pay monthly. So the essential plan can hold only 1000 responses per month and this is not enough for me so I am on the professional plan uh, paying 50 USD per month uh, because I need 5000 responses per month. So it also has uh, unlimited logic jumps, everything in essentials, you can do hidden fields, conversion tracking and a lot more. So the entire list of features is available here. And if you go for the premium plan, you can even go ahead and integrate the Facebook pixel and you can retarget people based on who has visited the form, who has completed the form and things like that. So this is type form and they also have a lot of templates. And this is uh, something that they have been doing for a very long time. So I would say that they are really experts in form creation. So let me go ahead and show you inside the dashboard of my Typeform account. So here is how the login of my Typeform account looks and you can see I have created 113 forms so far. And this is the most recent form I have created. So this form I created to send it to my audience to find out what course is most in demand because unless I listen to my audience and understand what they want I will not be able to create a product that fits them exactly. So I entered all the possible courses that I am going to launch in the future and I created a multiple choice question out of it. So here there are also some settings involved. So here I have allowed people to enter multiple selections. Uh, the selections will be randomized so that uh, people are not likely to click the selection which is on top. Uh, that might be a bias sometimes. So randomizing is important. If people want to enter something that is not available in this multiple choice question, there, there is another option. And I have enforced vertical alignment so that uh, the form is not appearing in two rows or two columns. So. This is how the form is and there are multiple options to create a form. I will also show you how to create a brand new form. But first let's have a look at the results uh, from this particular form. So these are the results. I have got 1662 responses from 3716 visits. So these 3716 visits was primarily driven uh, through my email list. And you can see the completion rate is 49.2% which is something that even landing pages don't get. So people take on average 2 minutes 30 seconds to go ahead and complete the form. And these are the results I have got. So I know that uh, SEO mastery is very much in demand that people want to learn SEO. Uh, affiliate marketing is something that is also in demand. Then digital marketing agency mastery, digital marketing tools mastery, freelancing mastery. So these are the top five courses that we are going to create first. And uh, right now this video is being created for digital marketing tools mastery. So whatever I do is based on the audience responses and I make sure that the audience response is big enough for me to make a data driven decision. 
So here I'm also asking how do you want to learn the course and most of the people have said recorded online videos like the one that you are listening to right now mm -hmm. and some people wanted recorded online videos plus online group or forum coaching. Uh, then 88% uh, of the people said that they would be open to early bird access of the course at a discount and then name, email ID and phone number. The phone number also makes sure that it matches the uh, exact number pattern uh, which is 10 digit number now let's have a look at the actual form and understand why type forms are so effective so inside the form if you go into the share tab you will get the url for the form and if you visit the url then you will be able to see the form in action so you can see that uh, type form first shows you the first question and does not really show you how long the form is if it is a Google form or if it is any other form, then uh, you will be able to see all the fields that are there. And if there are like, you know, seven different fields to fill up, people usually don't have the patience to start filling up the form. But in type form, in the initial first question, people do not know how many more questions are there. So they just start uh, going ahead and uh, selecting the options and clicking enter and then it leads to the next question so let's say i answer the next question as well then it asks the third question so then it asks for name then it asks for email id and then it asks for phone number so even if i create a form which is like 20 field long then the conversion ratio of people visiting the form to actually people completing the form is really high because people are not clear how long the form is and they start filling up the form and usually when people start filling up the form uh, the chances that they will go ahead and complete the entire uh, form is uh, way more higher uh, otherwise uh, people will look at a 10 field form and they will be like okay this is going to take some time to fill up so they will decide not to fill it up so that is uh, why type form uh, is valuable and uh, this is something that is not available in other tools right now and uh, I feel that uh, the price we pay for type form is worth it because uh, with the amount of traffic I drive to the forms I need a higher conversion ratio and I need to go ahead and try to collect as many leads as possible and as many submissions as possible. So that's about it for this video. Typeform is a very simple tool, one of my favorite tools and uh, I definitely would recommend you to go ahead and try Typeform because uh, there is a free account and go ahead and try to create a new form and in the new form you will understand how the uh, exact form creation works and that is something that you have to learn from experience and uh, all I can show you is that uh, you know the creation of a new form is uh, pretty easy so you can click on add your question and there are multiple different uh, questions you can go ahead and configure and once you create a form or two you will get the hang of it and i'm pretty sure that once you start using type form you will not be able to go back to any other form so thank you for watching this video if you have any questions go ahead and leave a comment below and i will see you in the next video bye bye